The previous video discussed real valued signals and even and odd properties, a type of symmetry that they may or may not have. In this video, we'll talk about complex valued signals and a type of symmetry that they may or may not have. And that type of symmetry is what we call conjugate symmetric. So a complex valued signal could be conjugate symmetric or it could not be conjugate symmetric. If it's conjugate symmetric, then this holds for all time t. Basically, the time reversed version of the signal equals the conjugate of the original signal. So that's what this little star means. And conjugation just means change all the j's to minus j, okay? So if I have some signal that has a real part and a complex part represented here by the real part a of t and the complex part j b of t, when I conjugate x of t, all the j's turn to minus j's, so I end up with a negative sign right here. If you go through the analysis, what it turns out is when I'm dealing with conjugate symmetric signals, that means that's a complex signal whose A of T is even and whose B of T is odd. So that's another way that you could check for conjugate symmetry. You could do it just using this definition here, or you could individually make sure that A of T is even and B of T is odd. Let's go ahead and look at an example of a complex signal and check it using the definition to see if it is or isn't conjugate symmetric. So here is an x of t. It is t squared plus j t cubed. Definitely complex. And the, the question is, is x of t conjugate symmetric? So that would require this being even and that being odd, which if you know the you know, powers and what those look like, you can kind of go ahead and tell right away that those are. But let's go ahead and compute it using the definition. So let's go ahead and compute the time reversed version of this signal. So I need to replace all of the t's with negative t's. So replace this t with a negative t, replace the other one with a negative t. A negative t squared is just t squared, and a negative t cubed ends up being minus t cubed. So I end up with t squared minus j t cubed. So that's what the time reversed signal is. Now let's go ahead and compute the conjugate of the signal, which is pretty straightforward. Just there's that single j there that I need to turn to minus j. And then look at this. I can now compare the time reversed signal with the conjugate of the signal, and they are indeed equal. So this is a conjugate symmetric signal. So just one simple example of checking for conjugate symmetry based on the definition. We have one more video dealing with this kind of even and odd symmetry and the next video we'll actually do a whole bunch of little proofs that discuss what happens if I add two even signals, what happens if I add two odd signals, what if I multiply an even or an odd signal. There's some kind of just basic rules to kind of work through and know off the top of your head for future work. So we'll get to that in the next video.